Georgina Rodriguez hates cooking but loves eating. She is a model known for being a partner of Cristiano Ronaldo since 2017 and also for her modeling shoots. She's currently starring in a Netflix documentary about her life. That's awesome. Soy Georgina Rodríguez, tengo 27 años y hace 5 años mi vida cambió. La mujer del hombre más seguido del mundo. Cristiano es maravilloso, es un hombre súper normal. Soñaba con tener un príncipe azul a mi lado y hoy en día lo tengo. She's known for her excellent fit and toned body shape. So what's her secret? What does she eat to keep in shape? Keep watching until the end to find out and my thoughts on it as a registered nutritionist. Opening up during a tarot card reading she shared with her Instagram fans, when asked if she liked cooking, she said more or less. She then quickly added, actually no, what I like doing is eating. Quiz on her favourite dish, she revealed, it's difficult to name one. I love paella, Spanish omelette, croquettes, I really like sausages with wine, meatballs, bean stew, chorizo sausage. She went on to say, I remember once asking for a ham sandwich during a photo shoot before a fashion show and saying, don't make me do this when I'm hungry because when I get hungry, the truth is that I can be unbearable. She said, life without food is a bit senseless to me. It's not normal to ask for ham sandwiches before doing this sort of event. And the response I got when I requested one was, I like people who eat. It means they can be trusted. And that's what I feel when people relax and eat. I think, wow, they like being with me. So it seems she definitely enjoys food and she gets hangry. Georgina has never revealed her diet plan, but based on the information she provided during her tarot reading and doing a little bit of research, I've come up with what her diet plan could potentially look like. She's definitely not vegan and enjoys her meat. What does Georgina have for breakfast? Well, she might join Ronaldo in having avocado and toast. If so, she would be getting a good dose of vitamins and minerals such as vitamin K, folate, vitamin C, potassium, vitamin B5, vitamin B6 and vitamin E. Avocados are loaded with healthy fats and fiber, so it will keep Georgina fuller for longer. The toast will give her carbohydrates and the energy she needs to start the day. Or she may start her day with a Spanish omelette. Omelettes are a great breakfast dish. Eggs are one of the best breakfast foods out there and they are consumed the world over as part of the first meal of the day. They will provide Georgina protein and vitamin D. The popularity of eggs isn't just a result of their easy availability and inexpensive nature, but more importantly because of their ability to double up as a whole meal. The best way to add fiber and more vitamins and minerals to your breakfast omelette is to add vegetables to it. You could add carrots, broccoli and spinach. These veggies boost the nutritional profile of your dish and make it more filling. You can either add the veggies directly to the omelette or you can stir fry veggies of your choice and stuff your omelette with these. So this will definitely be a good breakfast option for Georgina. Now let's have a look at lunch. For lunch, Georgina might have a chicken breast with veggies and rice or a paella. But is paella healthy? Well, paella is the most internationally recognized Spanish cuisine. It consists of rice, vegetables and meat, mostly seafood. All of these ingredients have great nutritional value. Paella is rich in essential vitamins and minerals necessary for human health. If paella is made with fish or shellfish, it has a high concentration of vitamins such as vitamin A, omega-3 and fatty acids. It also includes minerals such as zinc, selenium and iron. These vitamins and minerals are what your body needs to function correctly. So if Georgina did have paella for lunch, then that would be a good option as well. Now it's dinner time. For dinner, Georgina might have pasta with red wine. It's great that she doesn't avoid carbs in her diet. Pasta is primarily a carbohydrate, but it also contains a good amount of fiber and some protein. Homo pasta contains almost twice as much fiber as white pasta, with just 100 grams serving providing about a third of the total recommended daily allowance of fiber for adults. Pasta has a good mineral content including calcium, magnesium, iron and zinc, as well as B vitamins. Did you know that cooking pasta then cooling it before eating it can be better for you? Why, I hear you ask? Let me explain. Recent research found that the process of cooking pasta then cooling it down changes its structure, turning it into something called resistant starch. 
This means that it's more resistant to the enzymes in our gut, which break down carbohydrates and release glucose. This causes less of a rapid increase in blood sugar, which is a good thing. Cooked, then cooled pasta acts more like fiber in your body. This creates a smaller glucose spike, resulting in better blood sugar control, helps to feed the good bacteria in your gut, and also means that you absorb fewer calories from the same quantity of pasta. And even more surprising, when you reheat leftover pasta, it becomes even more of a resistant starch, reducing the rise in blood glucose by a huge 50%. So you might want to cook your pasta, let it cool down and then reheat it the next day before you eat it. What's a healthy portion of pasta? As a guide, about 90 to 100 grams is a good sized portion, about two large handfuls. To have pasta as part of a balanced meal, it's best eaten with some proteins such as chicken, beef or a little cheese, as well as several portions of vegetables such as veg packed tomato sauce or a large green side salad. Creamy or cheese-based sauces can add significantly to the fat, salt, and calorie content of the dish. So these should be eaten as an occasional treat rather than as an everyday option. It seems Georgina likes to wash her pasta down with a glass of red wine, but is this good for her? Well, when it comes to red wine, it is thought that the antioxidant levels help to prevent damaged DNA that contributes to aging. A couple of studies have shown that drinking moderate amounts of red wine is associated with a slightly longer life. However, as with other studies on alcohol consumption, it's unclear whether this effect is because wine drinkers also tend to have healthier lifestyles. If you haven't watched our video, is red wine good for you? I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Another option for Georgina might be salmon with rice and veggies. Salmon will give her a good source of omega-3 fatty acids and is also rich in other nutrients such as vitamin D and selenium. It is high in protein and low in saturated fat, so it's definitely a good choice for dinner. Rice is a good source of carbohydrates which are needed for energy and is fuel for the brain. When it comes to carbohydrates, the key thing is to think about the quality of carbohydrates. Complex carbs like brown rice, sweet potatoes or quinoa contain starch, but they also contain fiber, calcium, iron and B vitamins. So it's good to swap your white rice for brown rice every now and again. We've had a look at what Georgina might eat in a day. If you're interested in what Christina Ronaldo eats in a day, watch here. Remember, enjoy food and stay happy and healthy. Catch you on the next one.